Today we're making fall candles. So excited to make candles. <laughs> okay, super easy. This is all you need. You need a block of beeswax, okay? We brought this one from Hobby Lobby. You need candle jars. We wanted to make four. Everyone make three, and then I wanted to make a special one. So these came from Dollar Tree, but you can get them anywhere. Um, you're gonna need coconut oil. You're gonna need some mason jars. You're gonna need a glue gun. And this, this is optional, and I'll tell you why in a second. Scissors, a spoon just for scooping, some scissors, I mean, a knife to cut the beeswax, and you're gonna need measuring cups. You really just need to measure one cup, so. If you have a, a measuring cup that measures out one cup, then you're good. And you need wicks, duh. We're making candles. Also, pumpkin pie spice and apple pie spice. You can get these in your local Publix, okay? The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to hot glue the wick into the jars. And remember I said this is optional because honestly, you don't have to hot glue them. You could put them in the jar and like hold it with some craft sticks or like tape it down in place. And once you pour the wax and everything in there, it'll just settle at the bottom. But we're gonna hot glue it. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. So now we're gonna put these to the side and these are gonna, we're gonna get back to these later. You need one cup of beeswax. This is a pound block. But if you cut them into fours, each fourth of it will be a cup. So this can make four candles. Okay, so now you have one cup of beeswax in each jar. Now you have to go in and put one cup of coconut oil in each jar. So I'm using my one cup measuring cup here and then I'm gonna scoop out enough to fill this up. So you're gonna do the double boil method where you're gonna put the jars inside of some hot boiling water and you're just gonna leave it alone and let it let it fully melt. And once it's fully melt, we'll be, we'll be back. So once you see it starts to melt down a little, you can start, this one's taking a little bit longer. Ooh. You can start adding your spices in. So Riley wants, um, which one are you getting? Pumpkin Riley? pie. Pumpkin pie. So you're gonna take the pumpkin pie spice. So she's putting pumpkin pie spice in hers. Okay, then we're gonna mix it around. Kenzie wants, what flavor are you getting, Kenzie? Apple pie. You getting apple pie? Yeah. And Kenzie wants apple pie spice for her. So we added two tablespoons of pumpkin spice into this one. And now we're about to add, we're waiting for this one to melt down a little, two tablespoons of apple pie spice in this one. And then on this one, I think we're gonna mix the both, both of them together. So after about 20 minutes, it's all melted. Each candle is ready to pour. So this part you don't wanna let your kids do, you wanna do because it's super, super hot, put on a mitten. While these three are drying, which they already are, look so cool. We are going to show you one more way that you can make a candle that will be much, much easier than what we just did. So I just take it out, pull the wicks, and then there you go. Now we're just using some sharp scissors and we're just gonna cut around the wick and then we're gonna drop the pieces into the jar. So we're gonna wait for it. We're gonna put our water on high, let it boil, and then we're just gonna let these melt. And then we're going to pour them in here. And then we'll have our fourth candle. Okay, so they're all done. It took about, we waited like an hour, but really you only need to wait like 30 to 40 minutes. Now we're just gonna cut the wicks. Oh my God, we made our Smell it has to a it. 
But if I if I pick my second flavor, this one was good because I have a lot. I have a lot of it in it. It's like oh, okay. you can see the powder at the top and stuff. Like, and also, but if you do want to make your own, make make sure make sure you put a little bit more spice, more a little bit more pumpkin spice or whatever spice or you, you can use. use essential oils. Well. Yeah, I know. Like you use a lot, so okay, so you can actually smell the fragrance. So like this is amazing because I never made candles in my life, and it actually came out really good.